Ah, uh, what's up, guys? I want you to listen to this V note and um, draw your conclusions and uh, draw up your comment in the description below. Personally, I can't hide my opinion under anybody's opinion. I have to air my opinion. I listen to these guys' uh, analysis and I say, where does he get his information from? Why is he defending UAG? Let them come out and explicitly make the statement why the disbursement is not going to happen. According to what he is saying, that they are about to disburse on Thursday, and when they were about to disburse, government called them. You know, he's giving the excuses for them. You don't do that. Let them come out and spit it to the uh, beneficiaries. This is how far we have gone. And this is what is holding us back and this is what uh, we are going to do you know so all these things he's saying for me they are on speculations and all the analogies and analysis is, is trying to to portray for us for me i don't think we have to buy it this disbursement is anticipated and it's uh, it's, uh, it's overdue so why telling us that they want to disburse government called them just listen to this v-note drop your opinion in the description we'll see you at the end of the v-note the ecosystem is currently overwhelmed with worry nervousness anxiety skepticism and fear over the non-disbursement of the uaag grant or the non-signing of mou by the ceos in the ecosystem especially as the country director of the UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama, haven't uh, gave the national broadcast that will usher in this government as was anticipated on Thursday and Friday a few days ago. We have witnessed so many grant agitators, grant fighters, and pressure groups calling for protests and press conferences calling on NGO CEOs to embark on protests or press conferences all to compel the grant handler to usher in disbursement. Now the question everyone in the grant ecosystem is asking is if clearance has been given by the federal government to the grant handler, why is disbursement not taking place? Yes, it's true that on Wednesday, clearance was issued to the grant handler to go and disperse. If for any reason we have seen the grant handlers not embarking on disbursement, we should all understand that the unexpected, the unforeseen have set in. I'm going to reveal this to you. I wish to intimate you that the situation at hand level of progress at hand doesn't demand protest, agitation, or press conference. It demands a little understanding and a little patience from all subscribers of the UAAG grant. UAAG disbursement is at 99.9% complete. If we have been patient over six years ago, seven years ago, we can equally be patient for another five days or three days from next week we are approaching. People have actually called out the country director as being a scammer. So many people have rated the UAAG grant as being a scam. This is unexpected at the moment. We have seen strategically the progresses that the UAAG and the LGPGN with the government committee have established at the moment. We understand the reason for the agitation of every subscriber in the ecosystem. When there is too many adjournments of a reality, there is that tendency for skepticism, for doubt and for worry. The situation at hand doesn't call for conducting ourselves or making utterances that wasn't the health state of fellow grant subscribers. Just a few days ago, it is reported that a 
fellow CEO died inside his room for two days and the body started decomposing before others got aware of this. Yes, this is a typical scenario of someone who perhaps might have borrowed money to subscribe for this grant and the creditors are on his neck and he might have run out of options of survival before finally passing on. Or he might be one of those CEOs who landlords are embarrassed and evicted in their homes or threatened to evict them. Or he might be among those audience of grand subscribers undergoing debilitating health situation, lacking money to buy drugs and resuscitate themselves. But whatsoever the case is, all of us, whether the subscribers, the beneficiaries of Bundle Head, should encourage ourselves rather than grow more anxious and skeptical of this cosmic thereby worsening your own health state. Despite what happened, our health and life is quite important for all of us. We need to live, hence we will access other God-willing opportunities for all of us. As a subscriber of this grant I am, just like everyone else, I wish to encourage you to stop commenting negatively unconstructively stop commenting discouragingly on all these whatsapp and telegram groups to save other grand subscribers from health emergencies our comments have sent so many people to untimely grave and when this grant will be dispersed you will be there to celebrate it when you have already sent so many people to untimely grave stop Encouraging other people because UAAG disbursement is definitely going to take place. Disbursement did not take place on Thursday and Friday as anticipated. The MOU going to be signed and the disbursement template going to be available on Thursday or Friday. All those occurrences was not coincidental. It was actually premeditated on the outcome of the Tuesday and Wednesday meeting between the UKAG team, the AGPGN representative and the government committee representative. In that meeting, a clearance was issued by the federal government of Nigeria to the UAAG to commence disbursement of this grant. If clearance has been given by the federal government to the grant handler, why is disbursement not taking place? If for any reason we have seen the grant handlers not embarking on disbursement, we should all understand that the unexpected, the unforeseen have set in. I'm going to reveal this to you. It's not as if the country director of the UAAG or the AGPGN representative are deliberately stopping the MOU signing or stopping the broadcast or the disbursement. They need the money just like all of us need it. They even need it more than most of us in the ecosystem. A lot of them are currently in huge debt in an attempt of feeding themselves, boarding transportation around the city of Abuja to attend meetings to ensure disbursement take place in an expensive city like Abuja. None of them is happy still staying in Abuja, spending money. We should understand that it is not deliberate that these people are delaying disbursement. What are those unexpected unforeseen circumstances that is delaying disbursement at the moment. Remember before now we were intimated that governments are involved in this disbursement process. But the question is were all the governmental institutions saddled with the responsibility of monitoring disbursement of grants part of this arrangement? Were all the governmental institutions involved in checkmating the disbursement?
disbursement of grants by a non-governmental organization be part of a committee having this negotiation and appropriation of disbursement with the grant handler, the UAAG and AGPG. You know those government bodies and I suppose that those government bodies should be the NFIU, the CDN, the Ministry of Finance and perhaps the Ministry of Humanitarian Services. Because grant disbursement is a humanitarian activity. Was representatives of the humanitarian institution part of this committee? That is the point, that is the reality confronting the grant handlers at the moment. Yes, Osim came on on Thursday and assure everyone that disbursement is taking place because he was aware that the clearance has been given by federal government to disperse the grant immediately. This is the unexpected that comes up. A call came in from one of those governmental institutions. They should suspend such an activity and allow them to partake in the whole disbursement process as a way of checkmating the activity of this non-governmental body or grant handler. In an analogy, so you can quickly understand this well, it's like you having money to disburse to people. You have checkmate those that you are disbursing the money to. But who is checkmating you that is disbursing the money? The UAAG deploys software into the app to screen the BBNs of NGO CEOs or to ensure they don't redirect the monies into the account. Hence, they will detect any NGO that redirects the money from proxy's account to his account. Aware that some NGO may dispose the money to second or third party account and later collect that money back to the account. Such NGO, when they, they carry out such activity, even when it takes two months or three months for them to reclaim back the money that have been saved in other accounts back to their own account, they will still be tracked by the government. That was quite commendable by the UAAG. But at this stage, when they are sent for disbursement, this government financial regulatory bodies call on them and request for equally checkmating them. If they are going to checkmate the NGO CEOs from not receiving 20 times or 40 or 100 disbursements to their account, who is going to ensure that the UAAG, the AGPGN and every other stakeholders don't receive more than 100 or 500 rounds of disbursement to their own account? This is the reality at the moment. These financial bodies saddled with responsibility of checkmating fund distribution across stakeholders, across beneficiaries in the country are now coming in to checkmate your own grant handler. Checkmating of all parties is quite important and to the benefit of all at the moment. Remember, we are in a country in Nigeria where time and again we have witnessed people who parade themselves as grant handlers, mobilizing the account details of the subscribers, approaching the government, receiving the entitlement and taking all by themselves without remitting back to the subscribers who submitted the account numbers for them, without remitting to other stakeholders who take the pains of going around the grassroots communities, mobilizing the data to the grant handler. They divert the money to the account and disappear into the team area. If the institution saddled with the responsibility of monitoring phone transfer and distribution in a country is seeking to partake in the disbursement process, then everyone should give the UAAG time to accept and inculcate this request into the arrangement for disbursement to start. If such body is actually coming in, then it is a benefit for all parties. It's a way of ensuring the certainty of disbursement of these grants to your bank account. 
else there may be a scenario where the money has been received by the NGO beneficiary account and one of the people who are the grant handler may be sending more than 100 or 1000 times of these monies to their particular account. I pray they should install a software that monitors the PVN level of all parties, both the grant handler and the NGO CEOs. Hence, they will not have a second gateway of still returning this money and should sustain such monitoring protocol beyond six months. Hence, these people will not just domicile the money in a given account and later we collect back to their own account. It's quite a transparent process. Government of Nigeria will commend them for such intervention in the matter. It actually shows we are in a civilized country. The government of Nigeria might be complacent in other economic responsibilities like regulating the economy to ensure there is low prices of goods and services. But to some way, the policies of the government in this aspect is actually to the benefit of all grant subscribers. Therefore, it calls for patience for all the audience in the ecosystem. I'm sure within these few days, we will be realized. It doesn't call for protest of any movement or pressure group. We are in 99.9% .9 complete status. When you agitate, you end up damaging your God-given opportunity. When you agitate, you end up denying yourself the privileges and the entitlements that God has already made available for you. Don't join any group to agitate at the moment because disbursement has already started. Don't join any party to call for protests or engage in press conferences. The scenario is too clear for all. The grant handler has been given clearance by the federal government to disburse. The MOU is ready. The disbursement template is ready. Then why should there be need for protest? Disbursement has already started. That is the state of mind all of us should be now. Hence, we know that even if it takes another five days or ten days for disbursement to start, we know it is definitely going to start because all the conditions to usher in disbursement has already been completed.